I want to show off a nerdy accomplishment. So this is Altair number 40. It was previously owned by John Barr um, of Wisconsin. He was a doctor in um, Milwaukee and he used this Altair for research. Uh, and it originally came with a North Star single density floppy controller. It was one of the earlier earlier uh, floppy controllers available for the Altair. It was pretty popular. And uh, it occurred to me that I have um, a North Star uh, compatible um, Shugart 400 cabinet here that I had picked up when I bought a uh, Heathkit H8 computer a few years ago. And um, one of the things I hadn't yet done with this Altair was get it running CPM or North Star DOS. Uh, off of a disc controller card. I've booted it with cassette, I've booted it with paper tape, I have booted it um, off of the EP-ROM, and this was like the, the last major milestone. So this has taken a lot of work to get up and running. A lot of things have to be working for this to make to, to, to happen. So um, I'm just gonna show you what the process looks like. Pretty simple. I'll turn on the terminal. See, cursor come up there. And we're going to turn on the disk drive. One of the nice things about this particular drive is it makes no sound when you turn it on. Then we're going to turn on the Altair. We're going to reset it. And I've got this already set up, configured for the right address. We're going to examine that address, and that's where the uh, boot prom for the disk controller is. And we're going to go ahead and put in. Um, let's start with CPM. Our CPM disk into the drive. And all we have to do is press run. And we should see lots of blinking lights and CPM. And sure enough, there we are. So, CPM 2.2, 48K. We're going to go ahead and do a directory listing. There we are, the directory for CPM. Now if we want North Star, we also need a copy of that. So I still need to glue that on there. Um, there's a North Star disk. Pop that in there. Also reset. Examine at that location. Again, same location. Back up so you can see the light sand. Yep, North Star DOS uses a different kind of uh, system for system of commands. So here we go. That's our directory listing. And there we are. Really awesome. So I've got pretty much all the potential utilities here that you'd need. CPM has a copy.com, which is actually where the format utility is in this disk. It has a program for pulling files off of a serial um, port and uh, copying them onto that disk. And then North Star DOS, I also have basic. So I have North Star DOS, general monitor programs, basic, CPM, and serial disk transfer. So pretty much anything you'd need if you wanted to play around with this. The one thing that's not so great about these disks is that because they're fairly early, um, and that's mid-1970s technology, they really don't have a lot of a very high capacity. We're only talking about, I think it's like 80, 86 uh, kilobytes or something like that. So uh, I can't do a whole lot with it. One of the things I would have liked to do with this system is get like Zork running, but in order to do text adventures, you really need uh, a double density controller um, or an eight inch floppy drive. So this is what we're gonna work with for now and say pretty happy with it. Thanks.